All right, so let us solve a fairly simple um, matrix equation, um, but it's gonna it's gonna involve some work. That's fine, but conceptually, hopefully, it's it's fairly simple. Uh, it'll just take a lot of steps. So um, here we've got the equation: uh, the matrix X times this other matrix um, plus this other matrix equals this matrix. So we want to solve for x. We want to figure out what uh, what matrix is represented by x. And I'm doing two by two matrices, matrices with two uh, two rows and two columns. For the sake of simplicity, I can only fit so much um, scratch work on the screen. Um, but you know, this will show the basic idea of what you're doing with matrix equations, and then you know. You can do more complicated stuff. It's just kind of it'll expand off of what we do here. So we're focusing on just the very basic idea. What do you do to solve uh, a simple matrix equation? Okay, so we've got x times some matrix plus some matrix equals some matrix. So just like if it were, um, you know, if we're going back to um, your days of introductory algebra. 3x plus 7 equals 12. What's the first thing you do? You subtract 7 from both sides. You know, and then you get 3x equals 5. And then you divide both sides by 3. And then you'd have your answer, right? Well, it would probably look neater than that. Okay, uh, so same idea here. The first thing we need to do is subtract this matri matrix from both sides. Um, now, remember when you're adding or subtracting matrices, sorry about that, um, you, the matrices have to be, have to have the same dimensions. Uh, so, we're good here. They're all two by two. So, we're not going to have any issues here. Um, okay, so this, you know, this matrix minus itself is nothing. That's why we did that. Okay, so uh, we're just going to subtract the corresponding elements. So, for example, 24 minus 4 is 20. Um, 72 minus 2 is 70. 48 minus 6 is 42. 36 minus 2 is 34. All right, so we're making progress. So we've got x times. I'm gonna switch colors. Actually, I'm not really into this orange right now. Um, x times this matrix is equal to this matrix now. Um, okay, so um, it would be natural to think. Okay, well, we just divide this matrix. We divide x. Um, this matrix from x. Divide that uh, on both sides, uh, but there's no such thing as matrix division like that. So, what you do is you can um, multiply this matrix uh, or this side, this side of the equation, by the multiplicative inverse of this matrix, and then do the same thing to the other side. It's just like, or it's similar. It's very similar to, um, say, I had two thirds x equals whatever nine. Well, uh, I could think of this as my next step as dividing by two thirds, um, but it'd be equivalent to multiply by three halves. Why? Because three halves times two thirds is equal to one. Three times two is six. Two times three is six. Six divided by six is one. Um, so this is the reciprocal of two thirds, uh, and then that takes care of the issue. So I do that to both sides of the equation. Well, there's something similar uh, with matrices, and it's. It, Instead of the reciprocal, it's the multiplicative inverse. So, yeah, so um, if I multiply a matrix by its multiplicative inverse, I get the equivalent of of one, but in 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 matrix world, you know. So three halves times two thirds is equal to one. Uh, well, a matrix times its multiplicative inverse is equal to the identity matrix, which for a two by two matrix would 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 look like this where that main diagonal is 1's and everything else is 0.
So it's, it's kind of the matrix version of one. All right, so I so the key here is to find the multiplicative inverse of this matrix and then multiply um, both sides by that multiplicative inverse. Okay. Um, well, here before I kind of wrote all over it, I wrote a little shortcut for finding the multiplicative inverse of a two by two matrix. Uh, so if you have matrix A with elements A, B, C, D, the inverse of that would be one over the determinant, which is uh, A times D minus B times C, uh, times, uh, then you switch the A and the D, and then you flip the signs of, of B and C. Okay, so let's find um, the inverse of this. So it would be, um, we'll do that over here. So it's 1 over the determinant. So the determinant is AD, A times D, uh, 2 times 12 is 24, uh, minus B times C, that's 6 times 3, which is 18. Um, 24 minus 18 is 6. So we've got 1 sixth times, okay, we're going to swap the A and D. So 12, 2, and then we'll flip the signs of, of B and C. So negative 6, negative 3. There are other ways of finding the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. But if it's a 2 by 2, might as well save yourself some work and, and use this shortcut. Um, so now we multiply this matrix by this scalar 1, 6. So 1, 6, so I'm going to try to fit that down here because I've got quite a bit of work left to do. 1, 6 of 12 is 2. 1, 6 of negative 6 is negative 1. Uh, 1, 6 of negative 3 is negative, sorry, negative 1 is negative 1 half. And 1, 6 of um, 2 is one-third. So that's the multiplicative inverse of this matrix. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to multiply, um, switch colors, both sides by this multiplicative inverse. Um, almost out of the woods here. We're going to have to do some multiplication, some matrix multiplication. Um, okay, so we know this is a multiplicative inverse of this one, so what we're left is with, with the identity matrix. So what we're left is, is the matrix X over here. Okay, um, and so we're going to have to multiply these two matrices. So let's, let's uh, I'm going to pause and give us some room here so that's going to that's gonna take a little bit of calculation. Alright, so we are, I'm going to write our new um, matrix up here in, in whatever, turquoise. Um, and so we know our new matrix is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, okay, because the dimensions of this matrix are 2 by 2. And we're multiplying it by another 2 by 2. Okay. The columns of the first match the columns or the rows of the second, so that's good. And then the dimensions of the new matrix are going to be two by two. Okay, which means two rows and two columns. Okay, I'm going to label the rows and the columns. Okay. So what is the value of my first element? Um, so this is in row row one, column one. That means I multiply. So we're going to multiply the rows of the first matrix by the columns of the second matrix, always. Um, that's why it matters what direction you multiply. This matrix multiplied by this matrix is different from this matrix multiplied by this matrix. Um, Okay, so this element is in the first row, first column. So I'm going to take the first row of this matrix 
and multiply it by the first column of of this matrix. So um, so let's do that here. First row by first column. So 20. Uh, so we're going to take the corresponding elements. First element in the first row, first element in the first column. 20 times 2 is 40. And then I'm going to sum these. Um, so 42 times negative 1 half is negative 21. And now I sum these. 40 plus negative 21 is, what is that, 19? So that is our first element. Okay. Uh, Let's, let's go for this element here. First row, second column. So I'm going to multiply the first row of the first matrix by the second column of the second matrix. So 20 times negative 1 is negative 20. 42 times, uh, what is that? That's a th one third. 42 times 1 third is... Um, What is that? Sorry, I'm blanking out. 42 divided by 3. It's going to be something really obvious. 14. Um, so 42 times 1 third is, is 14. Um, all right. So negative 20 plus 14 is negative 6. All right. Now let's, let's look at this one. Second row, first column. So we're going to multiply the second row of the first matrix by the um, second row by first column. So 70 times 2 is 140. 34 uh, times negative 1 half is negative 17. 140 minus 17 is equal to 123. Almost done. All right, second row, second column. Element in the second row, second column. That means I'm going to multiply the second row by the second column. Um, 70 times negative 1 is negative 70. 34 times uh, 1 third is not quite even. Thir 34 divided by 3. 11 and a third. Um, 11 and a third. Uh, so let's add those. So minus 70, uh, negative 58 and two thirds. All right. So that is the result of dividing this matrix by the multiplicative inverse of this matrix. So all we're left with on this side of the equation is x. All we're left with on this side of the equation is this matrix. So that x is this matrix, um, um, 19, negative 6, 123, negative 58, and 2 thirds. So a lot of work for a very simple equation, right? So um, that's why we have computers now to do that type of stuff. But it's good to know what's actually happening when matrix equations are being solved. So uh, I wish you all the best, truly, with matrices. They, they can be a pain, um, but just write out your work neatly. Um, don't panic and you should be fine.